evasion by the illicit tobacco industry is said to be costing this economy over 7 billion rand annually. Illegal cigarettes reportedly sold for between 5 and 10 rand in the majority of corner shops in, in the informal sector. Activists are calling for action against the industry that has been seen as brazen and uh, trying to capture the South African revenue service. Yosef Abramji is a social activist with the campaign hashtag Take Back the Tax. He joins us from our Pretoria studio. Uh, thank you for being with us. Yusuf, so you're saying what's coming out at the Nugent Commission is what you've been saying all along. Good evening, Francis. Indeed, uh, Take Back the Tax was launched a few uh, weeks ago by the Tobacco Institute of Southern Africa, and we have been very, very outspoken. We've been to the point that some 7 billion plus rand is being lost annually as a result of the illicit tobacco trade. We know for a matter of fact, and the judge has now confirmed it, that SARS was largely on a tax holiday for the past few years. Tom Moyane has taken this uh, organization right to the ground. And in the interim report, the judge has been very, very firm, suggesting that Tom Moyane needs to be fired by the president immediately. We are very concerned as take back the tax about the large scale, the widespread incidents of uh, illegal cigarettes being sold. Yes, you can buy it from anything between five rand and 10 rand at a spaza shop, at a corner store, uh, which clearly means that people are evading tax, running into billions of rands. The minimum excise duties on a pack of 20 cigarettes, for example, is about 17 some odd rand, which means that these manufacturers, these distributors are getting away with so-called daylight robbery. Uh, and that is why Take Back the Tax was launched and we almost have about, what, 17,500 signatures on uh, the submission calling on government, calling on SARS, calling on the police to act and to bring an end to the illicit trade. Because really, I think the money, the billions that we are losing can be well spent in basic service delivery, uh, even, by the way, maybe to pay your salary, uh, Francis heard, because I think the taxpayers need the money. <laughs> well, Yusuf, uh, I mean, a question of motive comes up here. Do you think that uh, SARS leaders were potentially protecting illicit cigarette dealers? Most certainly, I think the judge has been very, very clear that Tom Moyani was the person as Commissioner of SARS to close the special unit investigating the illegal cigarette trade. And let me just quote one paragraph from his interim report, and he says, and I quote, measures to counter criminality have been rendered ineffective, and those who trade illicitly in commodities like tobacco operate with little constraint. Clearly, the judge has found that Tom Moyani closed this unit. There's been very, very little action. The uh, distributors of the illicit uh, uh, illegal cigarette trade are openly operating. We know some of the tricks they are using. The inspectors from SARS were at these uh, manufacturers and distributors were taken away. Uh, and we know, for example, they used the trick of multi-invoicing, uh, using the same invoice for multi-deliveries of cigarettes. Some of them claim that their products have been counterfeit, which we, we believe is total non nonsense. And I think the Take Back the Tax campaign has been vindicated because the critics have been saying um, you, it's, it's wrong to deduce that billions have been lost. And I think the judge said it very, very clearly. Uh, and the commission, the, 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 the commission today, through the judge, said that uh, we are through the half the tax year. And if we don't act and act with urgency, we are going to lose more money. So I think the facts speak for themselves. So, Yusuf, you said you had thousands of signatures, but many more thousands are buying illegal cigarettes uh, because they're buying below 17 rand, which is just the, the tax rate, like you said. What's your message to them? Well, I think uh, my message is twofold. We're calling on SARS, we're calling on the police service to act and to act now. I think there is still some hope. Uh, the acting SARS commissioner, Mark Keenan, uh, the judge uh, in his uh, interim report praises him uh, for taking uh, and bringing some credibility and stability to SARS. I still remain confident that uh, SARS will act, but we need to see action. We need to see SARS, we need to see government, we need to see the police clamping down on the illicit trade. But more importantly, we want to see the billions of rands that have been lost coming back to the fiscals, coming back to the treasury, so that it can be used to, to provide basic services. Uh, and the government needs the money. Uh, I, I also say to the um, uh, law enforcement agencies, we want you to act. When 17,500 plus people are pleading with government to say, implement the law, 
arrest these people, recoup the money, bring an end to the trade. Government has to act. Why must we plead with government to enforce the laws? Very, very sad. And I think the, the, the Moyani himself and, and some of his uh, colleagues uh, and former colleagues uh, have a lot of answering to do. Uh, why did they close a special unit uh, probing the illicit cigarette trade? So the motives are very, very suspicious. And I think it's no secret that certain politicians, as we know from some of the events over the past few years, have been involved in the illegal trade. And I think it's time that we get to the bottom of this and uh, it's time for authorities to act. And we're appealing to South Africans, continue to add your name to the submission. Go to www.takebackthetext.org and uh, let's force government to act, become an active citizen as our National Development Plan talks about. All right, thank you very much for your time. Yusuf Abramji from hashtag Take Back the Tax. We take a short break. More news to come.